Hi everyone, it's Ardeth, and today is the video hop for the Catherine Pooler Designs Unsinkable release. I made a sparkly monochromatic thank you shaker card with some of the ocean themed goodies. I started with a panel of white cardstock and the new Shell Parade stencil. I taped the stencil to my work surface on an angle near the bottom of my cardstock. I'm only doing a partial blend here, fading it up to white near the top of the panel. I used purple tape to hold everything in place. I used a blender brush and Fiesta Blue first, giving it really light coverage, always starting at the bottom and fading out toward the top. Then I added some Melon Ice to add some variation in the color. Melon Ice is a very yellowy green, but mixed with Fiesta it gave me a really pretty soft aqua color. I went back over with the Fiesta Blue just to be sure that the blend was smooth, and then I removed the stencil. This subtle pattern is so pretty. To jazz up the panel a bit, I got out my Nouveau Glimmer paste in Moonstone and I used a tonic media spatula to get some out of my almost empty jar and put it onto the cardstock. I love to use this stencil pal to spread the paste even when I'm not using a stencil. It's wider than the panel and it helps to ensure a smooth even coat of whatever you're spreading. The cardstock warps a bit while you do this, but it dries as it flattens out. Isn't it pretty? I love all that sparkle. Once the panel was dry, I used my Gemini Junior and I trimmed it with the largest stitched rectangle die from the postage stamp die set. And I cut a shaker window with the second smallest rectangle die. Having the glimmer paste on the cardstock doesn't impact the ability to die cut it at all. I flipped the panel over and I put some adhesive down to hold the acetate window in place. Then I got out my Mini Misty and I put the white card base as well as the panel in place and I held it down with a magnet so that I could position my sentiment. I chose the Ocean of Thanks sentiment from the hook, line and sinker stamp set and I positioned it in the window of the shaker before lifting it with the Misty door and removing the sparkly panel. I used Skylight ink to stamp it. This is a nice deep aqua color that works well with the stenciled pattern and also with the sequins I'll be using. To build my shaker walls, I doubled up some foam tape. Having a double layer gives the shaker filler more space to move around freely. I trimmed it to fit and I covered the back of the panel. I made sure that the tape was pretty close to the edge of the window. There's no point letting those beautiful sequins fall behind the panel and not be visible. You can see that I used a lot of tape. I find sometimes if I don't cover the whole back of a panel, it warps a bit and isn't perfectly smooth. Next it was time for the sequins. I sprinkled out quite a lot of the Big Sur sequin mix. This mix has gorgeous colors and pieces that are perfect for ocean-based cards. I pushed them into place just under the sentiment and then I removed the release paper from the foam tape and pressed the panel down over top. Next I used my Mini Misty again and I stamped the little seahorse and some coral. Or is that a plant? Anyway, I stamped them both with the same skylight ink and I stamped them twice to get a nice deep shade. The Misty is great for allowing you to stamp twice in the exact same spot if you want to. Or if you need to. Now I know this ink stays wet for a second and that you can emboss it on its own, but it's so hot here in Toronto right now, I didn't want to take any chances. So I stamped the images a third time, this time with WOW embossing ink. Then I sprinkled Wanderlust embossing powder over them, and I heated them with my heat gun until the powder was completely melted. And that's it! I love how the sequin colors pick up the colors I used on the front of the card, and all that sparkle is gorgeous. I mean, can you really ever have too much sparkle? Be sure to hop to all the stops in the video hop for your chance to win. I've put the link to Catherine's blog and to the next person in the hop in my description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Product links are below in the description and also on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.